Let me hit you with an absolute truth. As much as it can be preached, once they be born again, once they change, la la la, things are new. That is true. But let me tell you, in most cases, that is why we have backslidings even in churches. People don't really change. Hence, when one really changes for real, it is something to be celebrated for real, like the likes of Paul in the Bible, you know? He changed for real. And let me tell you, some people, when they don't change, myself, I no longer get surprised. In fact, I expect that they will go back to their old ways rather than them not going back. Hence, I get surprised when I see that this person has changed for good or for real. So don't be scared. Don't force it. Learn to live. They will stay like that. They have no intentions to repent. And I want to, this is not for everybody, but when you're facing something like this or you ever face something like this, let it also be a lesson to everybody. Learn to let go. Even God, due to the Israelites refusing to repent, he had to just destroy them. He was willing, to, he was patient, but they were unwilling to repent. People are hard-headed and they have a free will. Remember that even God could not force people to change. So don't pray and say, oh, God, change, change, change. And purpose. Remember that even God, if that was the case, he would have changed all the Israelites to obey him by force. So he does not, oh my God, he does not do so. He likes you to change also at your own free will. The least he can do is to advise you and give you his weight and you decide. And I pray for you. May God expose everybody that is wasting your time in Jesus' name. Amen. And my details are on the comment section below. See you next time.